Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be discussing the fish products that you actually need for your system. So if you walk into any pet store that you have for fish, you're going to see a very long shelf of all these different bottles and all these things you can add to your water to make it perfect for fish. And I'm going to disappoint a lot of you by telling you there's really only one product that you need. And this is only if you are on city water system that uses chlorine or chloramine to treat your water. And this is a water conditioner known as a dechlorinator. And you only need one of them. Um, some come with fancy things to increase your fish slime coat and promote wound healing. And we're actually going to link to an article in the credits below that show you this isn't the case at all. So, you only need one water conditioner and you add it every single time that you add new water to your system. And if you're on a well, the, you, don't, you don't need to ever add anything unless there's something funky coming in your well. Which you should know beforehand because you have to drink it as well. Now... Other products, food, filters, all good. We highly recommend getting a liquid-based test kit, not those stupid strips, so the ones with the little drops and the color chart. Again, I understand that it is hard to look at those, but the best thing we can recommend is you take a white piece of paper, you, hold, you, you walk outside, and you hold the vial up to a white piece of paper. And this is really the best way to kind of match those color charts. And be sure to read the instructions. Don't assume that every test is exactly the same. It, it does take some practice, um, but if you just do it a couple times, you'll get more comfortable. Uh, we are going to include a link to a log in the credits as well, so you can kind of keep a track of your different values. Um, but other than water conditioner and a test kit, and again, food filters and all that, you really don't need anything else on the pet store shelves, and that includes antibiotics that are not federally regulated, any of those silly bacterial products that are supposed to kickstart your filter, we have another video on that, um, what else, anything that's supposed to improve your fish's slime coat, any of those products, forget about it, they're just worthless and you're wasting your money. Um, obviously, you don't want to be buying new filters ever. Once you have your tank set up, it's good to go. And again, we have a separate video on why you should never replace your filters um, with my lovely aquarium sponge riding center stage in that. So, I guarantee you I've saved you a ton of money right now. So, I highly recommend you use that money to go buy a test kit or, you know, get a yearly checkup from your aquatic veterinarian. Certainly if there's no problems, you don't have to, but we recommend yearly checkups just like yourself, your cat or your dog, just to make sure we catch problems early. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you learned a little something. If you have any more questions about fish or fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.